and under switch to what I'm going to do is you'll see there's the generic Ethernet NIO. What I'm going to do is just click on this first box here, and then I should get a drop down. And so what I'm going to do here now is just look for the connection that I just renamed, uh, you know, in my uh, in my network uh, uh, connections when I went into that and and saw it acquiring the network address. And as you can see here, it's the second one here. It says uh, right here on the right side. It says local area connection 7 switch to FA010 so I know that's why you know I, I recommend you know you renaming the connection so that you know uh, what you're actually connecting to so I'm gonna in this case I'm gonna go ahead and add this device here hit OK and now what you can see is I have you know this cloud uh, node has been populated with the correct uh, interface uh, so what we just did there is pretty much we just uh, gave this cloud and uh, we just pretty much uh, bridged it to support the uh, local area connection 7 on the local uh, computer which is our connection to fast ethernet 07 from our switch to so now what we'll do is we'll go we'll go add a link we'll just use a fast ethernet from r1 r what you can do is you can if you want to manually go ahead and set it just go ahead and hit manual and we'll just do fa00 and then go ahead and left click over here and click this interface that we just added okay so now that i have the connection uh, made all I need to do is go ahead and right click on uh, router 1 go ahead and start the connection and while that's going what I can do is get into switch number 2 as I am and as you can see here when I connected that interface uh, faster than 010 you can see here uh, the connection interface faster than 010 changed the state up so if I go ahead and do a show interface FA 010 you can see it's up so we have layer one connectivity and we're actually seeing packets uh, inbound and outbound um, what we want to do now is we want to go ahead on the switch uh, what I forgot to tell you guys is I already enabled uh, IP routing on the switch uh, what we'll do in this case we'll make this port a routed port uh, and how you do that is you just go into uh, interface configuration mode and you just do a no switch port command and that will make the port a routed port so now what we can do is you know assign the port an IP address and then what I'm just going to show you is basic uh, layer 3 connectivity uh, you know from your router to your uh, layer 3 switch again this is a SMI 3550 image so what we're going to do is we'll just do uh, all we're really just um, going to be able to do with the SMI image is uh, run uh, rip. So what we'll do now is we'll just give it an IP address. Uh, we'll just give it 172.16.1.10. Uh, uh, and we'll just do a... Uh, no shut on the interface. Now let's go back into GNS3. Our router looks like it's loaded, so we'll go ahead and console into the router. And now at this point, what I'm going to go ahead and do in the router is if I'm, I'm going to just do a uh, go under the interface FA00 and I'm going to give it the IP address that's in the same uh, network as switch 2 is faster than it, uh, 010. So the IP is going to be 172.16, uh, I'll just name it 1.1 and give it the, uh, let's see actually let's see we gave switch two we put it in the 
10 network. Let's see, so you got 0, 10, 3. Let's just do this to make it simple for us. Uh, let's just go back here and just do a no IP address. Then we'll do IP address 172.16.1.10. We'll just give it a slash 24 to keep it simple for the lab. And on my router, then we'll just do 1.1. And then again, we're just going to put it in the same uh, same subnet as the switch number two, faster than a 0 to 10 interface. So we'll go ahead and do a no shut.